<clears throat> What's good, fam? This is ZTR back with another video, and it's just my thoughts after we've heard the news over these past couple of days about uh, Superman. Well, the new Superman coming out as being a bisexual. Okay, some people want to get my thoughts. I'm going to get my take on it. Since there's been a lot of um, other people who have also read comic books, such as myself, I've actually uh, have owned a copy of the original Superman, the son of Dakai. Okay. I have had a, a copy of that back in the day, so I've, I'm 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 an avid comic book reader myself. But I'm just gonna tell you what I think about the whole situation, and this is what I've been going back and explaining on my other video when I when I tell you about the the agenda to erase masculinity. This falls in line with it, okay? Because my thing is, um, they have already changed Iceman. You change Colossus, okay? They those characters have came out as being gay in the past, which I've said nothing. And then on top of that, they changed Wolverine into a woman. Yeah, they changed the Logan character into a woman. Like X thirty two, his daughter wasn't good enough for everybody. They want to make Wolverine into a woman. They changed that, which looked at real suspicious. Because why does Logan got to be a woman all of a sudden? You know, I said for years we've had Logan as a man. He want he wants to be a woman now. Like, come on now. And then recently, DC has also changed Robin. Now, I didn't say anything about Robin coming out as being bisexual. But I, I, I know it's Robin is not good enough. Okay, you took the Robin character, even though he, Robin has never came out as being gay or bi or nothing like that. You changed him into being gay. You changed him to being a homosexual. Now you want to change. Now you want to say that Superman. And I'm going to let you know, this is not the uh, the Saint Superman. This is um, Jonathan Kent. Jonathan Clark, excuse me. Yeah, Jonathan, this is Jonathan Kent. Yeah, this is not Clark. Clark is his dad. Now, supposedly, they wrote in the story that Clark is trying to pass uh, Superman down to him. This Jonathan uh, Kent character has been out for five years. Okay, I'm going to let you know this now. That when he first came out, was none of this bisexual stuff coming out at all. They didn't, he didn't come out the closet. So, my thing is, if he didn't come out the closet then, why now? And this is supposedly his lover. This is Nakamura. Okay, that's that's the name. It's Nakamura. This is supposed to be a YouTuber who tells you the truth. You know what I say? This is somebody who follows uh who follows John and it's supposed to be a YouTuber reporting on things that he calls the truth. Okay. So and this 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 is um this is the, the man he falls in love with. But my thing is, okay, if I'm a part of LGBTQ. And if I'm a, a man who's gay myself, which I'm not, but if I was a gay man or if I was supporting the LGBTQ, then I would create a character that's completely new. I would not use the Superman name. Because as far as I'm concerned, there's only one Superman, and that's Clark Kent. I understand that they want John to continue his dad's legacy, but I would have wrote in the um comic book that John doesn't want to be doesn't want to be Superman. He doesn't mean want to be given a Superman name. He wants to create his own. Superhero name. He wants to create his own nickname. Okay, you can still save the world, right? And but be different. Okay, so this this is the problem I have. Not only did you, like I said, you already you went off the ramen, you changed Iceman Colossus, you changed all these other characters. Why you gotta make the main character gay? The main superhero gay. Like the original author who made Superman, he'll have a problem with this. Because this shows lack of creativity. This shows somebody that can't, that don't want to take time and create a new character for themselves. Because I feel the LGBTQ needs a, their own unique character with their own name, okay, and their own costume. Why do you got to wear the same costume your daddy wore? That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I don't agree with, okay? If I'm going to create a, a, a gay character that's gay or bi, I'm going to create them being their own personality. They're going to have their own nickname. I'm not going to have them use the same name as their father or their, or their parent. Cause let the statistics show, like nine times out of ten, most children that grow up and they get older, they don't want to be nothing like their fathers at all. They're nothing like them. Even and let the record show, even the sports world, which I've been a part of, most of the Hall of Famers you see, like Barry Sanders, Jerry Rice, Michael Jordan, okay, you know those particular um, uh, those particular um. Uh, 
Men, their sons are nothing like them at all. Even Shaq. Shaq got children too, but their sons are nothing like him. They're not as good as their dads. Now, every child out there is not going to be fortunate like the Mannings, like Peyton and Eli, where you're actually better than your dad. That's not going to always happen. And there are some kids who grow up having um, fathers who are legendary. Again, they don't want to be exactly like them. Everybody's not Dale Earnhardt Jr. And even Dale was not as good as his dad. Don't get me wrong, Dale Jr. could race. He could drive a race car pretty good, but he didn't have this, the same type of success as his dad. The only one who came close to uh, Dale Earnhardt was Jimmy Johnson. And they're not, they, they, they have no relation. But my problem with these comic books recently, man, is that why are you basically changing a character's origin? Why are you changing their sexual orientation, their sexual origin? Why can't they be left alone and you create a new character? That's my argument with the LGBTQ as far as this gay pride. I understand you want somebody to have a superhero they can relate to, but why change Superman? Because Jonathan Kent has been created five years ago. He was never bisexual at all. The only explanation I could think of is to why the media made this a big thing because they're trying to promote they trying to promote this as the gender. They're they trying to recruit young kids. And I told everybody they're going to come after the children. I told you this. They want kids to think that this is okay to do. They want children, they want boys to be attracted to men, to other boys. That's 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 that's, that, that's the only thing I could I could come up with because these comic books, there's some people who are uh, inspired by these comic books. You'd be surprised. When you have these Comic Cons, these people come out to these Comic Con events, you have to see a lot of people dressing up like their favorite superhero. Let's just keep it real. I've seen it time and time again. Look, we this is October. We in Halloween. You would think you're going to have a lot of people dressed up like this guy here, this young man here, Nakamura, and you going to have a Superman right next to him? I guarantee you, most of the LGBTQ, the men that are, in, that, that are that are actually gay, they're going to be doing this. And we talking about young men that's going to be doing that. Okay? So you got to understand, stuff like this is very influential. And I told y'all what the agenda is already. And let me, let me, I'm going to continue to say this now. I have nothing against the LGBTQ at all. I don't hate them, but I don't got to agree with everything they do. I don't. Whoever wrote this as a comic book, you're lazy. This I get to the writer, to the author, you're lazy. Let me, let me, let's look at an example, right, of a father and son, of a son who is basically a guardian of the earth, right, just like his daddy, but don't have to dress and look exactly the same as his daddy, right, and he don't want to be exactly like his father as far as personality. Look at the Saiyans, for example. Let's look at Dragon Ball Z, okay? Now, you see Gohan, you see Vegeta, you see Trunks, you see Vegeta and Goku, you see Trunks and uh, Gohan, right? These two are father and son. These two are the sons of these two. Okay? But let the record show throughout the entire series of Dragon Ball Z. Alright? The sons were not exactly the same as the fathers. They did not all have the same personality. Yes, they both all trying to protect the earth, but they all dressed differently. They were not always looking exactly the same. Like, for example, right? Trunks, when he first appeared, he was wearing jeans. Okay? Black tank top and jeans with that sword. Okay, he's wearing either black pants or he's wearing some blue jeans. He not always looked like Vegeta at all. Even in uh in, in the later Dragon Ball Z when you have Boo doing the Boo Saga and then we had uh the second Broly movie and the third in the third Broly movie, right? Trunks was wearing a green G. Vegeta was not dressing like Trunks at all. Okay. Now, yes, Gotan looks uh, exactly identical to Gohan, to Goku, but uh, Gotan is wearing blue sleeves. He's wearing sleeves. He's not exactly wearing the same outfit as his dad. Look at Gohan. Gohan looked more like Piccolo. And to me, man, Piccolo is unofficially, uh, he's like Gohan's godfather, basically. Piccolo watched out for Gohan ever since his dad, ever since Goku passed away. He was in out Outworld or Otherworld. Okay, after the Saiyan Saga. Piccolo looked after Gohan like an actual father. That was like his godfather. If anything, Gohan wanted to be more like Piccolo. Gohan did not want to look exactly like his dad at all. And at one time, Gohan was actually stronger than his dad until after the Boo Saga. Okay? And if you look at Gohan, Gohan, as when Gohan got older, Gohan developed a different personality. He started dressing a lot differently. He started dressing like any normal uh, teenager around his age. 
Okay, it, we seen this when you went to high school. The man even had an alter ego named Great Saiyan Man. Again, looking like a superhero with Ginyu Force type poses. Okay, he had, he had his own alter ego. And then when the Boo Saga came around and we saw a Dragon Ball Z Super in GT, Gohan is like a regular person. He's a professor. He's a teacher. The man took his education seriously. Of course, that's all thanks to his mother, um, Chi Chi. But Gohan just wanted to live a regular life with his wife, Videl, and raise their daughter, Pan. He, he was nothing like Goku at all. In Dragon Ball Z Super, he had the glasses. He looked like a, a, a college professor. Okay? He didn't dress the same as Goku at all. Goku pretty much remained the same throughout the entire series of Dragon Ball. From, from when he was a kid, to Dragon Ball Z, to uh, Dragon Ball GT, Super, and even on Dragon Ball Heroes, he looks different. Same thing with Vegeta. Vegeta is nothing like Trunks at all. Yeah, this Cell game, the Cell Saga, right? This is the only time where Trunks looks just like uh, Vegeta. But again, they're two different personalities. They don't all have the same hairstyle neither. Right? Notice Trunks' hair is different from his. They all have, they, their hair is all distinctly different. Okay? Look at it, look at it. This is going on now. That's Trunks now. Right? Again, they don't all look the same. Okay? Distinctly, the only time... Gohan had this on was during the time he fought Bojack. And people are saying that's canon. I disagree, but that's neither here or there. So my thing is, a father and son don't always have to look exactly the same. And notice too, and this is what's... I noticed this too about Toriyama. Ain't none of these characters gay at all. None of them. None of them came out as being bisexual or gay. Not even the um, Universe 6 scenes like Kaba and... Uh, Kaba and... Uh, Kaba and Kale and Khalifa. None of them are gay. And neither of these sins. None of them came out as homosexual or bi. Okay? I think in the history of Dragon Ball Z, the only character that came out as being, uh, that was close to being gay is, I think, uh, the Red Ribbon art during the original Dragon Ball when Goku was a uh, kid. It was either General Metallic, General Blue. It might have been General Blue or General Metallic. One of them generals actually looked the guy in the forehead and they, that dude fainted. But even then, that wasn't even confirmed as, as him being gay at all. That wasn't even confirmed as that character is even being bisexual. Because back in those days, there was no LGBTQ at all. There was none of that going on. There was none of that jumping off. Alright? So what's wrong with this dude? Again, Jonathan Clark can save the universe and be like his uh, dad. But you don't have to have the same costume either. Or you don't have to go with the same name. Now, why can't he go as a planet named like Saturn or Uranus or something like that? Again, his daddy is from Krypton. But he's a half Krypton, half human. He's just like Gohan. Gohan is half Saiyan, half human. Just like Trunks is. But those characters are not gay or bi neither. And Toriyama has not messed with none of those characters up to this date. So why you, why DC and Marvel got to make their characters gay unless, again, they're trying to push an agenda. And they understand that Marvel and, um... Uh, DC is, is much bigger than Funimation as far as the states goes. Yeah, Funimation, that's mostly uh that's mostly big in Asia and Japan, right? In China, them places. Yeah, it's big in it's popular America, but not as big as overseas. So my only argument is that you don't gotta make this guy gay. If you want you a gay character, there has to be somebody different. Again, if you wanna come out as a character being gay and being a superhero, create your own character. Give the, create a brand new character that the LGBTQ can relate to that's different. That's not Batman or Superman. Don't use those names. Okay, we all know that Superman and Batman were all masculine, heterosexual men. They were in love with their wives. They loved with their women. Okay? Same thing with Spider-Man. I don't see no Spider-Man being gay. Spider-Man was always in love with Mary Jane. And even on the uh, animated series, he had, other, he had another chick that he was seeing. Even before Mary Jane, it was a blonde, it was a girl that was blonde here, I forget her name. But those who watch Spider-Man the animated series, Peter Parker always had different women. Same thing with Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock is actually straight. There was a rumor that he was gonna be gay, but that didn't happen. Now, for those who watch Venom 2, he actually lost his wife to another man that actually hurt him. But he was in love with that woman. He had the ring and everything. He was ready to propose to that woman. 
Yeah, but if I was writing for the LGB2 for their own character, I have a, a different, I have a, a entirely different name. I'm not gonna use the same name as as a superhero that's iconic and has been around for decades. Super, Superman has been around for way too long. I'm sorry, man. That spreads confusion. Cause now you're gonna have these these elementary school kids, these middle school kids, and even the ones in high school thinking that this is the actual original Superman. That Superman is originally gay or bisexual, which is false. When you got the older generation that are, that are my age or older, right? The people that are born in the 70s and 80s, and even before then, they're going to tell you that Superman was actually a straight man. This type of thing spreads confusion. It really does. And it creates a division. I understand the LGBTQ, they want to be accepted and everything. Okay, we accept what you are, but don't start changing our characters. Create your own characters. And that's the problem too. There's not enough original characters that are new. We don't got no, enough new superheroes. I told you, man, this, this new generation of writers are lazy. They have no creativity at all. And it's also telling us that because you don't like the fact that Clark Kent was straight, you want to make him gay through his son. It's like you're trying to rewrite history and you can't do that. When Clark Kent lost his powers, and he was defeated by Doomsday, right? We, we decided to when he got revived or whatever, and he decided to, he didn't want to be, go with Superman no more in the original comic books, and he started to go on a different alias, and live a normal life with Lois Lane, or his woman, right, whoever he was seeing, he didn't, like, he didn't want to go with Superman no more. As far as I'm concerned, Superman character dies off with Clark Kent. Jonathan Kent here needs to create his own, needs his own costume. He needs to go with a different nickname. It's just like when Robin became Nightwing. But I know it's the Nightwing character ain't good enough for him. They just got to make Robin buy. They can't make the Nightwing character buy. Even in Injustice. Robin went as a different nickname. He didn't want to go as Robin anymore. He went as Nightwing. That was his own unique creation. That was his own alter ego. Nightwing. Okay. That's like Tony Stark's having a child. The child grows up and wants to be like Tony Stark's. But yet, you know say He don't want to use the same, like... You don't got to be given the same outfit as Tony Stark. You got to have a, a, a entirely different machine. But you got to make his son gay because you hate the fact that Tony Stark's a straight. You want to make, but you want to make the son. No, you can't be doing that. Again, Jonathan Kent has been around for the last five years. He didn't just come out. He wasn't just created this just now, just on Monday. He, he was out the last five years, but he was not bisexual. Why is he coming out now? Unless, again, this is a part of the agenda. This is a part of what they're trying to do. They're trying to brainwash people through the media. And you can't do that. There was a YouTuber who even said it. Uh, turning these characters, changing these characters uh, into like gay or bisexual don't necessarily give you uh, good ratings. And they don't give you, it don't make, it don't sell. Again, my only disagreement is the LGBTQ needs to create their own superhero. Okay, DC and Marvel, you need to create a character specifically for the LGBTQ. Leave these original characters alone. Stop messing around with these main characters. It don't make an ounce of sense at all. It really don't. It just shows that you're lazy and that you, you're you mad because they wasn't gay when you, like, you want them to be gay and now you're trying to change their image. No, it doesn't work like that. See, they, they go after uh they go after Superman's sons because they can't change Clark Kent to be a gay or else you're going to get an outrage. You're going to have a, uh, you're gonna have a riot on your hands. I'll be very honest. If they was to try to make Clark Kent being gay or bisexual like this here, there's going to be an outrage. Just shooting up. There's going to be a lot of people complaining. But this right here, people are going to still complain because it don't make sense. They're making Jonathan Kent out to be the actual Superman. That means we're placing Clark Kent as Superman. But my thing is, man, it's like, why can't he just have his own different appearance? I told you. I just showed you. Gohan looked different than his daddy. Gohan didn't want to look nothing like his father at all. Even when Gohan was a kid, he always wore something different. Goku, as a child, always had the orange, had the same outfit he's been wearing now for over the last 30 years. And Dragon Ball Z is old. Goku is one of the oldest anime characters in the history of comic books. Because he came out in 1986, 85. He, he, he's old. He's one of the oldest characters of um, Funimation. But Goku always remained the same. Throughout most of the series. The only time Goku ever looked it differently. Was when he turned Super Saiyan 4. And he looked more like his um, his natural uh, grade 8 appearance. But Gohan. No it's Gohan can't turn into a grade 8. 
Gohan can't turn his hair blue. Gohan is distinctly different than his dad. Yeah, Gohan was still the guardian of the earth, but he had a different, gee, he had a different appearance. Gohan mostly wore purple and red, or purple and blue. Again, Gohan inspired to look just like his, uh, his master Piccolo, which is like his godfather. Piccolo loved Gohan like a son. And again, Gohan is not bisexual or gay. Alright? See, Toriyama and Funimation, they not playing that. If they're going to make a gay character, they're going to make somebody off the top brand new. Even Kaba, the Universe 6 says, none of them are actually gay. And then you look at Mortal Kombat, right? Kun Lao, I think it was it Kun Lao's son? I think it was either Kun Lao's son. One of those characters are actually gay. Not Takeda, it's, it's the other guy with the arm, um, the, the guy who has the bow and arrow. Yeah, I think that's, um, not, 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 I think that's, um, I think it's that Kenshi's son. Yeah, I think it is Kenshi's son. Yeah, you look at Kenshi's son, now Kenshi's son is actually gay. But that's a brand new character. For those that play Mortal Kombat X, not 11, Mortal Kombat X, Kenshi's son came out the closet as being openly gay. But I don't have a problem with it because that's a brand new Mortal Kombat character. It wasn't like they changed Liu Kang and Kulao and himself and made them gay. They didn't just make Kenshi gay, no. They had they created a brand new character when he came out as gay. But this Jonathan Clark coming out the closet finding himself as bi, no, I don't agree with that at all. If he was going to be bisexual, make him bisexual then. Why now? Unless, again, you're making it way too obvious. The media ain't fooling nobody. They're making it too obvious. Understand that the DC wants everybody to have a common book character they can relate to, but create the LGBT, the LGBT needs to be their own unique character, their own creation. For example, when Prince of, Ch when, um, Prince of China was introduced in that movie Black Panther, Played by Chadwick Boston, rest in peace. The Black Panther was a character created for the black community. Somebody that they could relate to. It's just like the uh, the Asian community has a character that just came out. In Marvel, there's a, um, there's a Japanese uh, superhero that just came out that I was looking at. But the Black Panther was created for the black community. Stan Lee had that character created way back in the 70s. That's to show you a what if scenario if Africa had not been colonized, they would have had this advanced technology. They're just as smart as some of these other countries. They're just as smart as Europe and Asia. Stanley created that type of universe. Okay? A character the black community can relate to. That was our that was like for our character, like for us. And if you look at the Barbados, there's a character for everybody that everybody can relate to. So I understand that they wanna they want their own gay superhero. You can have a gay superhero, but have them have them you different, have them unique. Don't just use the Superman name and make them uh, somebody like that gay. Don't just do that. You can't do that. That's not being creative. That's not being original at all. That's just being lazy. And it shows that you're mad at the original creator, so you try to change his um, uh, you try to change up what he what he originally had. Doesn't work like that. Me and y'all, I'm not gonna. That's that's it. I said enough. Okay, because. I know you can't just have an opinion no more. This people are sensitive now. This generation is extremely sensitive. Look what's going on with Dave Chappelle. They trying to cancel his show altogether. And Dave Chappelle talks about everybody respectfully. Okay? When Dave Chappelle had his Chappelle show back in the two, early 2000s, like 2003, 2004, and he was picking at the, he was picking on slavery. You know what I'm saying? He had a slave master get shot. Did nobody try to cancel him then? When he had that black KKK um uh, that black KKK activist, a black man that was a part of KKK who was blind and couldn't see, was there nobody trying to cancel him then? Why are you trying to cancel him now? Like it don't make an ounce of sense because he's he's talking about the LGBTQ in, in a in a humorous way. He's putting it as a joke. Dave Chappelle jokes about everybody, but and everybody thinks it's funny. But again, there's a lot of people that censor him, and it shows power. This is this is pretty much being narciss This is a narcissistic control. There are people that's part of LGBTQ who are narcissists. That's all this is showing me. This is narcissist at its finest. Yet us heterosexual people, we can't we can't have an opinion on it. You changing a character that we've been knowing all this time to be straight. And you trying to rechange this, but we, we can't say nothing about it, right? It's alright, bad enough they have a um a gay Bible, the Queen James Version. 
because they disagree with what God said in his original Bible, in, in the original word. They've been doing a lot of heinous stuff. They've been doing a lot of crazy things that I've said nothing about. But this year, I can't allow it. Again, Robin, you already got Robin. You changed Robin into being a bisexual. Okay, let Robin be, be the gay one. Let Robin be bi. Why does John Kent got to be bi too? Like, come on now. That's way too obvious. You got one character. Okay, if Robin is gay and they've already and Marvel's already changed Colossus and Iceman to be gay, create a brand new character. It's nothing wrong with that at all. Unless again, this is all because you're trying to rechange something. This is all part of the agenda. This is deeper than this goes deeper than that. Man, folks, man, tell me what y'all think. I love to hear your own opinions about this because again, and let me say this right now. For those that call me homophobic. Again, you got a problem. Because I can't be homophobic if I have an opinion and I'm critiquing the artist. I can't be homophobic because I disagree with what they got going on. That doesn't make me homophobic. Darren once have I said the, the F-A-G word. Okay? I'm not saying that the author is going to hell for this. I'm not saying none of that. And that's not me being judgmental and just me having an opinion and not me critiquing the artist here, the writer. Again, I'm gonna say it flat out. The writer who wrote him as being uh as being bisexual, come out being bisexual, and you you and you go write the same, you go give him the same title as his dad once did back in the 50s, again, you're lazy. That's all it is. You're lazy as hell. You have no creativity. You don't want to give him his own unique costume. You wanna give him his own name. You don't want to write in a comic book that he don't want to be like his dad. That he wants to save the world in his own way and have his own identity. That makes you lazy. You're somebody who has no creativity at all, and yet you can't be a comic book writer. You can't write a comic book and you have no creativity. I'm sorry. That don't work like that. If you go be a, a comic book creator and then your best thing is to jock somebody else's idea, and you go chase up a character the way somebody, the originator before you had them attended to be, then again, you're lazy. You're not a real comic book writer at all. This is just this is pure laziness, right? Somebody that just wants to get off easy. Okay? Again, just because Clark Kent is not gay don't mean you got to take it out on his son. Okay, if you want his son to be bi, let him have his own name. Let him have his own costume. He don't got to be just like his daddy. But anyways, man, y'all.